What's up friend? Today I present to you the interview with Contash, the first player to be ever banned in BDO because of RMT, also known as real money trade, paying other players to receive services which are usually against the TOS of the game. This was meant to be a sister interview of sort of my Odir one, showing two sides of the same coin. Sadly, Odir got also recently banned for RMT in the last ban wave. Anyway, I actually recorded this interview a month ago, but due to technical issues, my voice did not get recorded, so all of the questions had to be redubbed. Sorry if it sounds weird. Also, Contash requested for his voice to be altered. Here's the interview. For everyone that does not know you, can you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Contash, and uh, I used to play WoW with friends. Uh, got bored at some point from WoW, so... We started playing uh, uh, video together. That's how I started to play video, basically. What would you say you are known for in the video community? Uh, being overgeared. Well, I used to be, at least. And how did you get overgeared? Um, many different ways. Not uh, basically through cacao. Let's just say that. Uh, I uh, pay to win through players, kind of. Many different aspects that you can ask differently i guess like if you want to ask about e grinding or uh, placing pens or what's the other thing sea monster hunting some other exploits too in the game which never were mentioned in my uh, ban report <laughs> how much do you think you spent total in video uh, i don't know I do not know how much I spent in BDO, and I would like to keep it that way. Would you say over 50,000? Yes, definitely, a lot more. Do you mind saying what you do for a living? I'm a pilot. Did the money you spend in BDO affect you in real life? Mm, it depends. Affect me in real life? No. Uh, was I conscious about it? Yeah, some things I thought were not worth it, some things were worth it. Some things were worth doing, some things were not. You could do a lot in BDO with money. Like, it's uh, more than people think they can. At the start, I started buying normal payouts from guilds, siege guilds. And... Uh, was nothing. It was like... Uh, 1.5 bill, 1 bill, something like that. It was nothing. The little amount didn't change much. Very slow, still, to gear up. And then uh, I thought, just why not uh, skip a lot of brackets and just buy an account? That would be cheaper. So I bought an account. And around 4 to 5k between that number. can't really remember how much. Um, uh, bought an account. Uh, didn't know the guy at that point when I bought his account, but uh, we became friends because uh, he uh, started grinding for me after I bought his account, and uh, we used to hang out a lot, you know, talk, and this is... we joined the same guild. Well, we were two pub two people in one account. So. Uh, yeah, and that's how uh, me and <coughs> became friends. Uh, bleep that out. You are the first person to ever be banned by Cacao mm -hmm. for RMT. Can you elaborate a bit on that? Yes. Yes. I, I well, uh, to my knowledge at least, yes. Uh, I got banned at the end of Ren days, if you remember Argild. I used to be in Argild, and uh, uh, Suddenly, I couldn't log in. They said there was some security reasons about the account. So, uh, uh, the account owner sent his ID. And then they started asking some weird things where, um, it was like, hold the ID and the newspaper next to your face and take a picture, you know? <laughs> and stuff like that. And he did that. And, uh, then the... Then they, uh, then they said, then they paused for like a month, nobody replied to me, when I got back. No, it was locked for security reasons at the start. Basically, 
my my knowledge, like basic what an, what I analyzed in my head is okay. So I bought the account. They thought I had no contact of the owner, so they're gonna knock it forever. And uh, but I had contact, so I spoke to the owner. And they, okay, they're asking this, 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 and so he goes and sends uh, the ID and uh, picture picture of the ID next to a newspaper of the date of today, and then they says no. Uh, hold the ID next to your face and uh, the newspaper on the other hand and let somebody take a picture of you <laughs> to prove that you are the person with the ID. And he, he took a picture of that and sent the, and sent it to them and they paused for a, uh, for a month thinking of what to do next. <laughs> uh, so after a month, they, they just banned me for DDoSing and account sharing. I can Google DDoSing for you and see what it is. I think it's multiple uh, computers making connections to a server that slows it down somehow. And apparently I did that on the account, which I don't know how that is possible. But yeah, but then they, they mentioned a lot of things which like... Um, DDoSing, like uh, denying terms of service, which goes into a lot of brack brackets. Uh, even PVPing is one of them, I think. Uh, if you disrupt people's progress or stuff, like that. maybe they ban me for ganking someone. I, I don't know. But it, it, it literally says DDoS, denial of service. Here's the first ticket. They said uh, uh, GM Yordan. Uh, we take uh, account security very seriously and we strive to provide safe and fair environment for everyone. Uh, to help us establish your identity, you must prove your identification. Basically, they wanted to keep my account safe at the start. That's the first time they locked my account. Uh, so, I answered that and I sent them uh, pictures of what they said. No, after a month, yeah, basically... Uh, after an in-depth investigation was uh, ind independently verified by two senior game masters, myself and myself, we have anonymously uh, concluded that this account is in violation of the following terms of service. Threats to the provision of the service. The user shall not make threats or attempt to disturb the, <laughs> the provision of the service in any way, including but not limited to spamming, Denial of service attacks on the game servers, performing actions whether alone or in a group on the servers, the service that would affect the performance of the services of the XP. Basically, I was a bad experience for everyone else. <laughs> That's why I got my and the count here. So you think that they were trying to find a reason to ban you? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you could put it in that. Uh... Maybe, I guess. I, I don't know. They didn't mention RMT at all. That's another thing. They could say RMT, but I guess they couldn't prove it, so they said that. A lot of people reported me, and I was, you know, denying them the services of the game. And somehow, I don't know how, but somehow. So you say you did a lot of different RMTs. Can you tell us what you did? Uh, mainly, it was pretty, uh, after I bought the account, it was pretty, you know, Grinding, not me, other people, uh, friends basically that uh, grinded for me, and um, it didn't go that fast. Started buying payouts from guilds, didn't go that fast. Then Sea Monster Hunting came out. That was the rocket basically that took me out of the universe. Not a lot of people played on my account. Well, no, not really. A, a lot of people played on my account. <clears throat> uh, but for different purposes. Uh, somebody grinded, somebody PvP'd when I was not there to PvP. It's, uh, it happens a lot in different guilds too. Uh, people just, you know, the better gear the account when he's not available to play, you know, he gives his account to his friend, hey, log on, you, you do siege instead of me, you know, your, your gear is garbage. Stuff like that. Can you talk more about sea monster hunting? Started with one guild buying. Uh, Payouts and then it expanded. Uh, there were like three to four guilds running where I would buy payouts from 12 bill to 4 bill. 
from each guild and it was basically four payouts each week it was uh, at the end of the week i ended up with 25 to 30 billion per week it was a lot back in the days yeah back in the days it was a lot it was a lot today it's not much it was a long time ago it was before the new marketplace i had uh, contacts through discord people knew me which was a good and a bad thing good thing people knew who to who to contact when they got pens that were nice and i wanted the bad thing is i got banned at the end too. and that's it they would contact me hey i got a pen cousin or a pen ogre or a pen rce or pen tongue rider you want to buy it i'll place it for you this much people trusted me a lot in this community what was your account uh, gear like back then full pen i had full pen everything pen uh, uh, two pen RCEs, I was running Accuracy. I used to play Ninja. Uh, two pen RCEs uh, and uh, pen Ogre, pen Bassi, and uh, two pen Cousins. And level 12 or 13 Kafra, I think, was back in the days when Kaf getting 13 was hard. They nerfed it now, I heard. No, I had fun. No, I had fun. Th this is back in the days when Renon was a thing. Uh, and it was insane to have that amount of gear. Uh, I was insanely geared. Like, the people needed to like send the whole squad just to kill me. Sometimes that, that didn't work. You fought me, you fought me. You remember how tanky I was. Do you have any regrets or resentment about getting banned? Uh, well, if, uh, it's very, it's different. Like, uh, if I had children, I wouldn't let them do it. <laughs> Um, I did a lot of stupid things, which I regret, like blowing up accounts to get pens. I used to buy full TET account pens and blow them up and try to get a pen, which was very stupid. I would never do that again. Other stuff too, selling costumes, or, that's, that's stupid too, don't do that. Do you think pay to win is a good thing or a bad thing? Well. Uh, as long as you're having fun and you can afford it, then it's fine. But if you're like going bankrupt from it, you shouldn't. No, I think it's a bad thing. It all depends on like, oh, he has a lot of money. He, he's wearing nice clothes. So would you, would you be angry on someone for well, wearing nice clothes? No, it's up to him. You know, he, he can afford it. It's not really a bad thing, is it? just having fun enjoying something no matter what it is whether looking good or uh, driving a nice car or like having fun in a game killing people you know i know it sounds all killing people it's a game it's a game <laughs> yeah what do you do now do you still play bdl do you play other games now no i log on occasionally on games sometimes i log on video sometimes i log on build war sometimes i log on world of warcraft there's nothing really to play. I don't really play anything. Do you pay to win in other games as well? Or is it just a BDL thing? No, no. Other games don't give you a chance to spend this much. It doesn't give you that big of an advantage. It gives people the option to do those things. It's so easy to do. And, uh, yeah, and when people do it, well, people complain, but you shouldn't really complain about the guy that does it. You should complain about the game, about the game that allows it. If the game didn't allow things like it, then yeah, fair enough. But it allows it. I understand. Yeah, I did it in a different way, but come on. Like, I gave my money to the community instead of the company. Are you really, you know, salty about that? I could have gotten it the other way, but. And uh, I don't know, to be honest, hard to explain. Yeah, I gave the players instead of the game. Like, what did the game give to the players? Nothing. They, 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 they could easily add, like, capture the flag or something. Nothing. There is no good content in BDO. You have to make your own content. Or the game is boring. The game, I don't think it deserves a penny. Uh, that's one reason I chose that way of pay to winning. Of the other. You mentioned the Rand earlier. Can you tell me about that guild? 
uh, yeah, uh, Rand was a guild that was made from uh, two guilds. One was the guild I was from, and uh, there was discussions between me and the guild leader of uh, the other guild. I had a group of friends that I used to play with, and uh, we decided to make a merge, having two leaders to make Rand. Uh, obviously, I'm not a leadership person. I organized it, but I didn't uh, want to be a leader. Two small groups of people merged into one strong guild. I bought a guild with good elephants, and we joined that guild. You're also known for buying accounts uh, for your friends, correct? Yeah, but that was but most of them had accounts already uh, from the other guild. Like I bought them before joining them. Uh, it was fine. Uh, bought them accounts. We were playing together. It was uh, it was fun. Then uh, we decided to move to Rand. We moved together there. Had some fun there too. And uh, shit went south. Uh, it was an argument, pretty childish one, uh, between me and the guild leader. And uh, some people were uh, in different size. Was disappointed in some people. Uh, decided to just uh, pull the plug and uh, told them to get the fuck out of my guild and uh, took the accounts back. Were the accounts gifted? Did you just lend them? No, I gave them the accounts and, uh, you know, the only condition was uh, you know, as long as you fight, uh, you know, by my side, you can keep the account. What happened after you got banned? You came back to the game, right? Uh, after I got banned, it was after... Uh, I got banned before Rent disbanded. I uh, didn't have an account for a period of time. And uh, I was just like uh, figuring figuring out what to do. Uh, then drama happened at Rand. You know, there was a big explosion. Uh, Rand disbanded, split into two groups. Uh, one group joined the uh, Mango Squad. Another uh, group joined uh, Devour, and uh, was chill at the start. Nothing happened really. Just casual PvP, nothing serious. <laughs> Didn't play much. Played on friends' accounts, rented out accounts. You know, hey, I'm gonna play on your account. Not a specific account. Played on multiple accounts. Uh, but then uh, uh, PvP started to get serious. Uh, another guild was uh, formed to do PvP. More serious than Mango Squad. And uh, I was in that guild. Had a little bit of fun. PvP'd until there was no more PvP to have. People just uh, kept dodging or not fighting or zerging. So it was pretty much done, basically. They accepted, they lost, and was boring, and everybody quit. After that, getting banned was never an issue to stop playing. Um, it's more about uh, my friends. If they continue to play and they have something, uh, you know, encouraging them to play, whether it was a rival guild or sieging or whatever, then yeah, we play. But uh, at the moment, there's nothing. We fought whoever we wanted to fight, had fun with that, got boring, we just stopped. What's the craziest thing you've uh, done with Pay to Win? Well, I don't know. Like, what's crazy? Yeah, I, I spent a lot of money on getting one pen, but th th then I figured out it's stupid to like buy costumes and croning it. Because, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, do, do not crone stuff unless you're buying it with silver and then melting the costumes. Then yeah, but like spending money in this game is so pointless on cacao at least. I would never spend that much on cacao. My biggest regret is probably uh, trusting people I shouldn't have. You need to understand, my, my, my pay to win goes through people, yeah? Uh, it wasn't all for my benefit. Uh, it was not just for my fun, it was for my fun and my friends' fun too. Uh, people I cared about and had fun with, I wanted them to have fun with me. Uh, so... Yeah, some of them are worth it, 
I uh, give them my life. Uh, and some sadly won't. Well, yeah, that's life, you know. Do you have any final words or shoutouts? Any shoutouts? No, I don't think anyone wants to be associated with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, don't pay to win. Cacao's not worth it. If you want to pay to win, do it the smart way. Thanks to Kantash and thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, type in the comments who you want me to interview next. See you next time. Kisses.